Yo, yo, what is going on guys, Viper here, and in today's video we'll be going over the fastest way to get shotguns diamond. As you can see on your screens, I have got every shotgun diamond, the Argus, is one of my favourite shotguns in the game, and you'll see some clips uh, at the end of the video of that. But first, the first shotgun we have is the KRM. One of my, the second favourite, because it is a, like, a bolt action, pump action, as it said at the top there. One shot against enemies in close quarters. Very good shotgun, and I highly recommend going on Chaos Mosh Pit and um, Nuketown Domination, Hardpoint, Safeguard, things like that. Just rushing into the back of the spawn and getting as many kills as you possibly can. It will hurt your KD a bit, you know, it's kill death, kill death, but you can go on some really good streaks, get some chill canes and mega kills, whatever they call them. So yeah, getting into the attachments, we have quick draw and fast mags. Quick draw, so you uh, you get the jump on the enemies, always in their face, and you're not slow in getting your gun uh, right at them. P fast mags, obviously, to go on those quick streaks and not worrying about having to sit in a corner and reload all the time. So those two attachments are good. I strongly recommend a uh, long barrel if you don't like any of these perks or don't have a headset. So you don't necessarily need uh, awareness. Long barrel is very good. Laser sight if you want. But I don't know. I would, fast mags and quick draw are very, very good perks. A uh, very good attachment. Sorry, going into the perks. The must for Nuketown is definitely flat jacket and tactical mask, so good. And there's always going to be stuns and nays on Nuketown, so you don't want them to bother you, so those two perks are essential. Fast hands, you can aim faster after, sp after sprinting again, this is your rushing class, flanking around the back, so a, def a definite uh, perk there. Ghost, I like to have Ghost since I permanently unlocked it, it's just, you know, self-explanatory. Stays away from, stay away from UAVs and things like that. And then I've got awareness. I normally run dead silence because I think, you know, uh, footsteps in this game is just so loud. So I recommend uh, having that if you've unlocked it. If not, you know, awareness, blast, blast suppressor, or maybe replace it for some concussions just to, you know, stun the enemies, get in behind, and yeah. So that is for the KRM. It's very much like the Argus in terms of fast mags and quick draw. And it's pretty much the same setup. The Argus is so good. It's like the KSG from Black Ops 2. Very long range. And you can get some really good feeds, as you'll see at the end of the video. Next, my third favorite gun. Or the... Yeah, it's the Haymaker 12. It's quite unusual how you have to get headshots with it since it's not pump action which is really annoying but the haymaker is quite good and I didn't actually go into hardcore for this gun I just went on Nuketown again you know running in the spawn got a concussion on so you can stun them aim the headshot um, right up with quick draw on stock as well and yeah just get as many headshots as you can the iron sights are really good but I just put ELO in just to completely make sure that you get those uh, headshots. Again, Tactical Mask and Flat Jacket are essential. Fast Hands are very good. And Ghost. You can really run any other perk, but I love Ghost. So there you go. Next, my... I, I just do not like the shotgun at all. It is terrible. But you have to get it gold to get the shotgun's diamond. So I did go on hardcore for this one. Run the ELO, ELO is my favourite site, you can really run Reflex if you want. Yeah, Reflex or ELO is probably the best, and then obviously quick draw and stop just to move fast. It's all about flanking with these shotguns, you know, stun, run around, get in behind, headshots, headshots, head headshots. Awe um, awareness is crucial for hardcore, and I normally run awareness and dead silence, but I haven't unlocked it, so tap mask again. Ghost is another essential for hardcore because everyone runs UAVs, so Ghost is very good. And then Hardwire, just to stay completely you know, stealthy or just away from the enemies, um, annoying counter UAVs and things like that. So, this is a very stealthy class for hardcore, and I strongly recommend you guys trying this out. You can take out uh, maybe, or probably stock maybe or maybe the ELO site and put on another concussion if you like. 
But yeah, those are the basic basic uh, setups there. So once you get past, let's start off with the first first one. So once you're past the 100 headshots, you need 10 revenge kills. That will come naturally. It is yeah, easy peasy. Go and nuke town. It will just honestly don't even think about it. It will come naturally. 50 kills out. Any attachments? So if we take these two out, we again dead silence is crucial but we'll just chuck this on and i normally run hardwired but tracker is also another good one a again if you're flanking around cold blood is pretty good as well but i like to run hardwired anyone is really good cam you don't really see that much of a uh, decrease in ability without the attachments so we're all good there we'll just take that out now and then next we have Rubber kills again, just flanking, you'll do it easily. Chaos mosh pit on Nuketown, simple as five kills without dying. Now, you want to be stealthy, really, really stealthy. So, I like to go cold blooded and hardwired, and then obviously, you could flat check it's quite central, but just if you're having trouble, it should come naturally. But if you are struggling, you can put on six cents. Just shows you where the enemies are if they're close to you, and then tap your mask, and awareness is very good. I would probably even take out tactical mask for dead silence if you are having trouble, but for me it just came naturally. And then we're going on to the optic and fire attachments. So again, these are pretty easy, especially for the pump action. Elo's the best. And then we got quick draw stock. You can really have anything. Laser sight. And now long barrel is a good one. And then you can either go fast mag or extended mag. I don't really recommend rapid fire. There's not too much of a difference. So I don't really go fast mag. And then that is it for that. And it's the exact same setup for the Argus since they're both very similar. The Haymaker. Again, revenge kills come naturally. 50 kills out, any attachments, pretty easy. Same setup since it's um, Chaos Mosh Pit. Five kills without dying. Just camp in those rooms in Nuketown, get a couple of kills, go downstairs, get another one, go upstairs, flank around, you know, as simple as that. Just keep doing that and you'll get, get the kills. And then Optic, it's the same setup. You know, you've got Elo, your stock, laser sight, long barrel, fast mag. Never use suppressor, don't even waste your time, it's terrible, it's the worst attachment for shotguns. And then the worst one, this, oh my gosh, this is an absolute nightmare. So, you're going to be on hardcore, 10 inch kills will come naturally. If you are having trouble, just, um, sort of, I would pick a spot in the map and just die there and just run back to it. And I'm sure the enemies will be around there. They'll find you know where you can and then you just kill them again. Five kills without dying. Obviously you want stealthy stealthy class, so I'd put in cold blooded cold blooded hardwire and six cents and ghost. Very good perks for um what is it hardcore. And that is pretty much it. So I'll show you a couple of clips of the Argus. There's nothing too special but I just wanted to show you the dominance of the shotgun. It's probably the best shot it is the best shotgun in the game arguably top three top five um, guns in the whole game so hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you're new subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace